I got a call from a BMW 330i owner who wanted me to change out his clutch master and slave cylinders. He would give me the parts and I'd do the labor to install it. I said okay, watched a few videos to get a general idea of how to do it and came up with my own way to do the job. Instead of replacing the master cylinder first, I wanted to replace the slave. By detaching the slave cylinder hydraulic line, I could let the hydraulic fluid leak out into a pan. This would avoid a fluid mess when I was ready to replace the master. You'll need either an adjustable angle flare nut wrench, also called a crow foot, or adapter that fits on a 3 8 inch extension. Start by using the crow foot to loosen the hydraulic line flare nut attach to the safe cylinder and hydraulic hose, then remove the line. The flare nut attached to the hose has a U-shaped clamp that will come off with the nut. The clamp is used to brace the line to the hose bracket. Let the fluid leak into the pan. Let's look at the new slave cylinder. The cylinder is held onto the transmission with two studs. Start by removing the 13 millimeter nut on the bottom of the cylinder. Remove the hose bracket after the nut has been removed. Now remove the upper 13 millimeter nut. Since the shaft of the slave cylinder is spring loaded, the cylinder will separate from the transmission as the nut is loosened. Notice the fluid dripping out of the transmission after the cylinder was removed. The slave was probably the source of the problem. It couldn't make pressure to push the cylinder shaft when the clutch pedal was depressed. The new cylinder came out of the box with the shaft extended out of the body of the cylinder. I pushed the shaft back into the cylinder and checked for spring tension. Now the new cylinder overall length matches the old cylinder. Before installing the new cylinder, remove the rubber flare nut plug, loosen then hand tighten the bleed valve. When installing the cylinder back into the transmission, the shaft must be pushed and held in the transmission. If there's no spring resistance, the shaft is out of alignment. While holding the cylinder, screw on the bottom nut enough to hold it in place. Now screw on and torque down the top nut. Remove the bottom nut, install the hose bracket, then install and torque down the bottom nut. Reattach the hydraulic line flare nuts to the cylinder and hose. Make sure the U-shaped clamp is in front of the flare nut that attaches to the hose bracket. Now we'll remove the clutch master cylinder. Start by removing the dash panel under the dash. There's a push pin on the bottom right of the panel that needs to be pulled out. Pull down on the OBD2 port cover. Push the blue clip forward then push up on the bottom of the OBD2 to pop it away from the dash panel. Push down and pop off the foot lamp's lens that's behind the OBD2 hole. Pull out the bottom dash panel. Detach the clutch pedal return spring from the pedal. Remove the retention clip from the clutch pedal pivot shaft. You can use a thin tip screwdriver or pick tool to pop it off. Remove the two bolts that holds the master cylinder. The bolt by the firewall has a nut behind it. The other bolt is screwed into the bracket to the right of the pedal. Detach the electrical pedal sensor from the master cylinder. Using a pick tool, remove the master cylinder's hydraulic line retention clip. Now you can pull the master cylinder to detach it 
from the high pressure hydraulic line fitting. Detach the hydraulic fluid feed line from the master cylinder using hose pliers. Holding the hose and twisting by hand is next to impossible. It's on very tight. Detach the master cylinder from the clutch pedal by pinching and pushing down on the plastic pivot pin. Attach the new master cylinder to the clutch pedal, align the pivot holes, then push in the pivot pin. Remove the master cylinder's fluid feed line plug and the hydraulic line retention clip. Attach the hydraulic fluid feed line to the master cylinder. Attach the clutch pedal to the clutch pedal pivot shaft, then slip on the master cylinder to the high pressure hydraulic line fitting. Secure the connection with the retention clip. Connect the master cylinder to the pedal bracket with the two bolts. Mount the clutch pedal onto the pivot shaft. Install the pivot shaft bushing, then slip on the retention clip. Connect the clutch pedal return spring. Test by pushing down on the clutch pedal. Install the clutch pedal sensor. So we installed the master and slave cylinders, put in brake fluid, and we used the pumping tool to draw the air out of the lines, but there may be air within the cavities of the master cylinder, and the only way you can get that out is to actually pump the master cylinder. That will push the air into the lines, and then we have to do a two-man operation. One person pushing the clutch pedal down, release the bleed valve, the brake fluid would stream out and then stop, you close the bleed valve and the person inside the car releases the pressure off the clutch pedal. You do this around three times and what we found was on the third time there was air mixed in with the stream of brake fluid which means that the, the air has eventually migrated to the bleed valve. Okay before it would just go right down but now there's resistance right up to here and now there's pressure. Before, there was, there was just no resistance. It would just go right down. So right around here is building up hydraulic pressure. Here we go.